こまで行かれますかそれでは出発いたしますヒガシ。And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! <laughs> You, man. If I could have just gotten the money, maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. <laughs> Thanks for that. Now go! Fuck you! God damn, that felt good. Come on! Yeah. This is what I pay you for, Kaito san. Fuck yeah!
didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light, where the safe was, not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money? It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But me and Red Nose. We weren't the only two there. You found Hamra, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamra was gonna get 90 mil. Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. Who's there? Come out! Hamura... Is that him? It's Higashi, sir! Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi... What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I, uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He stole the hundred mil from our office. Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. <gasps> Captain? Hey, um, not really a good idea. Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I... Uh, I... Well, I... Uh, What was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want, I'm begging you, Captain! But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Huh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? 
How can I? Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn-on, to be honest. What are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm? This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? <laughs> when Tak was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Doc was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them. Pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home... Maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. So this guy who killed the family, did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first, either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with the Yakuza my size. The ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal.
Then one day, I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. This weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tak wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why he took him in. Tak didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. He's a dead man walking. What are you and Matsugani-san still seeing him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us, and when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. The Captain's word is absolute for now but if he ever gave the order to off you I might have to think twice about it <laughs> I think I can live with that <laughs> 